Welcome to the Land of Unpopular Opinions, and today I am going to be doing an age-old video for BookTube at least, which is drawing names of characters from a cup and <laughs> seeing what their ships would look like. I always found this, these videos very fun to watch, so I think actually doing one would be very entertaining for me and hopefully for you. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. I have no idea why I'm wearing the hat, but here we are. So, we have my trusty R2-D2 mug, and here we have 32 names, I believe, if I counted correctly. I'm not sure if I'm going to do all of them. There might be a part two to this, but let's go. Just so you can see I'm not bullshitting you. <laughs> let's give it another shake, even though I already did it. So. Our first ship, and I will try not to look because I just saw one name. So, we have the first one. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> and the next one. Alright. <laughs> now let's talk about the ship. Uh, <laughs> These apparently will be a couple. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I mean, obviously because I put him in here, he was gonna get a match, but I don't ship him with anyone but myself, so. <laughs> but I do like Alina a lot. Like, she's one of my favorite protagonists, actually. I like her a lot, so I'll allow it. And also she has experience with this type of guy, I mean. If you read Shadow and Bone, clearly. I don't know, I sort of ship it because I ship it actually a little bit. I mean, I hate to because I only want him with myself, but I ship it. I like, like them both. I love him, I love her, so I'm sort of shipping it, but I'm not sure how that dynamic would actually go because I don't think she would take his bullshit and he might be a little bit annoyed by her, but this is ship number one. <laughs> Clearly it was very successful. I have no idea how long this video is going to go if I keep ranting like this. Ship number two. <laughs> I need to stop looking down. Okay, so we have him. And this is actually so fun because there's so much mystery. I don't know why I'm so entertained by this. Now, I'm just going to explain because there can be a lot of Gregs. This is Greg from Diary of a Wimpy Kid, so he's a middle school kid. And we're going to take Jed from the first book, so it's not as creepy. But <laughs> I'm not sure this would work because Jed is precious. And I love him, and Greg is a little asshole. <laughs> and that's the whole point of his book. I don't think Jed would put up with Greg, honestly. I, I don't think he would. You let me know if it could work, because I don't think so. I think Jed would just send Greg into oblivion, because he would annoy the crap out of him, but let me know if you disagree. I don't think that this ship will work, personally. And this was a short one, so I'm gonna do another one in this clip, and that will be... Hmm interesting and who are you gonna be I wonder if anyone is actually gonna end up with the ship that they are with you see that before me because I didn't have time to oh oh <laughs> I mean I'm, I'm sort of vibing with this it doesn't sound that bad like obviously I love both of them a lot and who they are with but it could be an interesting balance because I mean Anakin is not really like who Torwin is with but I think it, it could actually kind of work they could balance each other out like he is a precious child and they love him but he's also badass and he is badass and confident and kind of cocky I think it could actually kind of work I am surprised. Now, okay, new ship, Anakin and Torwin, it could actually kind of work. 
and for the last known ones, I'm gonna be like Torun is for, from Last Namsara. So, and in case I didn't mention this before, there might be some spoilers because I put some ships who are actually ships in here, and I might reference to them. But honestly, I think that most of these series aren't like, oh, it came out three months ago. So if you haven't read it again, kind of not my fault. But don't worry, the spoilers will be mild. I will try. Maybe there won't be any spoilers at all. Maybe I'm just rambling. So, let's get on with the ships. The next one. Let's go. There's way too many in here, but I'm so excited somehow. <laughs> this might be a long video. I apologize. Okay. Here. And I'm sort of regretting the fact that I wrote some of these in red pen because I don't think you're going to see that on camera. You do actually see it. It's fine. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Mal and Obi Wan. Okay, for all, first of all, these are all male, <laughs> male and male sh ships. There's like no women so far, except for Alina. Uh, <laughs> this is so strange to just think of them out of universe, you know? Mal and Obi Wan. I'm not really sure that would work. Because they're both sort of the ones who are not timid, but, you know, the ones who are not dominant in their relationships. So, not sure that would kind of work. But Mal and Obi-Wan. I am so taken aback by this combination. I'm not even sure how they would work together. Because they're so different. I'm really not sure. <laughs> Please comment because this is killing me. Mal and Obi Wan. I think Obi Wan might be a little bit annoyed by Mal. I mean, he did survive Anakin and Ahsoka. But then again, it might be sort of like a father figure. I could see that happening. Not really romantic. I really couldn't see that happening, but sort of like a fatherly figure. Yeah, Mal could become a Padawan. Here you go. That would be an interesting thing to see for sure. The next one that, I, what am I even saying? I'm sorry, I saw the, saw the name, so I was just, never mind. Oh. Wonder who the hell we're gonna ship him with because they didn't put his female counterpart. What are the odds of this happening? <laughs> we finally have an in-universe ship. Aragorn and Faramir. I mean, I'm sure someone, someone out there ships this. <laughs> I certainly don't, but I'm sure someone is. I'm s I mean, I don't ship it, clearly, but... It could work. They're both amazing characters, and they're both very heroic, and... It could work, but I really don't ship it, so... <laughs> it's more difficult with in universe ones, because there is someone who actually probably ships it I don't know I don't I don't think it will work because they're very similar archetypes but I mean sort of they would be a badass couple that's for sure <laughs> probably the power couple of Middle Earth I don't know let me know what you think I'm not sure about this one and let's do the other one right away well, finally we are coming to some juicy content because we all know Wheel of Time is my favorite. Well, 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 they're both my favorites. Perrin and Vasya from Winter Night. I really don't know what to say about this one. <laughs> It could work. I think it could. But I don't think Vasya would want to settle down with someone so simple. Like, you know, Perrin kind of wants a simple life and he's a farmer. I mean, he's not in the end. But he's still kind of simple and a bit thick. Even though I love him. I adore him. But he's sort of an animal. Literally. <laughs> I... I don't think I ship it. But it would be an interesting dynamic, actually. Him with the wolves and her with her 
everything that she has. I think it would be a really interesting dynamic, but I don't ship it romantically. I really don't. It's a little bit weird. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, just know. <laughs> but let me know if you like them because that would be an interesting ship to watch in battle. Let's do the next one and I'm just sitting back a little bit because my back hurts from leaning in so much. Okay, we've got... Oh. Let's see. Not sure how that would work. Let me just... Oh. I dropped my Geralt. <laughs> Anywho, L and Geralt, uh, I think Geralt would be kind of annoyed with L, let's be real. Also, what is up with all of these being male ships? There's no women here. I mean, good for the gays, I guess. This is their moment. But I swear, I swear I put women in there, which means we're also going to get a lot of women and women ships, so. But... I think Geralt would be really annoyed by Elle. <laughs> I mean, Geralt is really smart and actually a very good person, but I think he would be annoyed by his constant analytics and his just very dry intelligence. I think Geralt would be very annoyed, and I think Elle would not just not have time for going around like Geralt does. So I don't think this ship would work, but this is setting some very interesting questions, I gotta say. <laughs> Geralt of Rivia and L from Death Note. Now there's a ship you never probably thought you'd see. But this is what this video is for. It's pushing the boundaries a lot. Something happened to my hat. I am sorry. Anywho. Now we have a lot of women. A lot of women, I think. Yep. Here we go. And... I'm digging deep so I don't pick the ones that I always see. Oh! A knee from Wheel of Time and Tanar from Earthsea. Now there's an interesting trip. They're both very headstrong and stubborn and definitely not taking bullshit. Not at first, Tanar, but. I'm not sure. It would be an interesting ship, but I think they would butt heads a lot. I don't think this relationship would thrive. They would be a really badass duo, though. So basically, this tag is like, will they work in a romantic relationship? Probably not, but they would be a badass duo to watch in action. I think they would be very cool. I mean, she was Wisdom, and she was Head Priestess. The, I, I forgot what it was called. Not Head Priestess, but sort of. You get the point. They both had leadership both evolved, they're both very headstrong and badass, and I love them. But not romantically though, I don't think that would work <laughs> for more than like a couple of one-night stands, I, I don't think. Now we've got our queen, and I'm sorry. Yeah, that wouldn't work. <laughs> She's like the best person that exists and he would not enjoy that. <laughs> he needs the very specific type of person to be with him. I don't think Padme would really be that person, but it'd be interesting <laughs> to see how he reacts to her because I mean, she had experience with angsty guys, I'll give her that, but I don't think it would work on his part. <laughs> There's a reason why his dynamic with Alina was so good. And that's because she's definitely not like Padme. <laughs> I don't think this would work at all, but it's a very, very interesting concept to explore. Well, also, by the way, Sorry if that was a spoiler, but come on, it came out like eight years ago. You've read it. I know you have. <laughs> we only have a couple more left, so... 
So I'm shaking it up. And. Huh. From Scott Lynch. And. No idea why I threw him in there. I, I just looked at the bookshelf and just wrote down whatever popped into my head. Well. <laughs> That would be. I don't know why I really don't like this one. Moraine and Locke? No, honestly, no, because she's too good for him. <laughs> I have no idea why I threw in Locke, because I don't really like him and I'm not a big fan of that series, even though I'm going to keep reading it, but he doesn't deserve Moraine. I'm sorry. I'm just going to leave it at that. He, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. That's all I will say for that. Now, this one, I wrote down Dandelion, but it's Dandelion from the Witcher series. There are two translators, and one of them writes Dandelion, but the other one who translated most of the books writes Dandelion. I kind of prefer Dandelion, so I just put it, but it's Dandelion. And... <laughs> from Grisha. Nikolai and Dandelion. I could see it. <laughs> Actually, I could kind of see it romantically. Like Dandelion, they, they're very similar. They're both sort of snarky, but in like a cocky way. <laughs> like he's a prince and he's a bard, but they're both very self-confident. They like women, they're attractive, they're flirty. I don't know, it could work. I definitely think it could work, Nikolai and Dandelion. I think they would have a heck of a time, so... I am shipping this, a new ship. Here we go, we have Dandelion from Witcher and... Nikolai from Siege and Storm <laughs> and the rest of the books, but I think this could work. Here's the, what, second ship that I actually ship romantically. I think it would be very interesting to explore. A couple more to go. Here's the hoping this video isn't 30 minutes long. Hmm. Another Winter Night character. And... If it's Morosco, I'm gonna kill myself. Thank God. <laughs> because we, we're not about incest in here. <laughs> Alright, we've got Regis from Witcher and Medved from Winter Night. I think that would. <sighs> but Regis is precious and I love him, but he can be a badass when he wants to. Like, I mean, he's a vampire. That would be very cool, and Medved respects power and the spilling of blood. I actually think this could work. Though I don't think Medved would ever fall in love. I just threw him, I just threw him in for the laughs, but it'd be fun, I think. I think they could vibe together. I think Regis is a lot better because Medved is pure chaos, but it could work. I definitely think it could work <laughs> in some weird, mad way, and not for long, and not like... In an actual relationship but it I see it I sort of see it <laughs> let me know if you agree and you look like some lunatic doing this anyway I forgot who I even threw in anymore we have the second counterpart from Death Note and oh finally a male and female ship that's new we have Light from Death Note and Asha from Last Name Sorrow. <laughs> Again, I don't think this would work because Light and Elle are very specific. I think anyone would be annoyed with them, just like people are annoyed with Sherlock, and I think they would not be able to put up with the bullshit from other people. They're very logical and intelligent, and I don't think Asha would be into that. She's very emotional and raw, and yeah, I don't think it would work, just like Elle and the other one, just. Also, yes, L and Light are perfect for each other, so I should have just drawn them together and cheated because they work with no one but each other. <laughs> that is what we gathered from this video. Right. Right. Just 
distracted. Please, please give me someone good. Okay. We've got the favorite. And... Stop this game because <sighs> well, <laughs> I adore them both with all my heart. I don't think they would work though. Just now we're out of the bubble. I don't think they would work. Like Morosco is god of death. Rand is dealing with a lot. <laughs> I'm not sure it would work romantically, but I think that along the way it would be an interesting like universe breaking moment. Along the way it'd be epic if Rand like came across Morosco and asked for his help with something. I think that would be epic. Like epic. I love both of them and their powers so much and them meeting would be everything. But I don't think it could work romantically. I, I can picture some of the others, but I can't even see this one. Just no. I can't. No, yeah. Definitely can't see them actually together. I just think it would be epic if they met. And I would definitely read that book if someone bothered to write that fan fiction. So, hit me up. I love how I'm just sitting here like I'm a cowboy in a throne. <laughs> Okay, we have a couple more, and I think it's going to be women. I think it's going to be women. Or not. Another Star Wars one. This is Ben Solo. And we've got... Oh! From Earthsea. <laughs> we have more men. Apparently it didn't bother to put as many women as I thought. I do apologize. Next time we can put more women. Aaron and Ben Solo. <laughs> I love how these are just so alien that I have no idea how to even go about approaching this. I don't think it would work. I think Ben needs someone who's less angsty to balance him out. And Aaron is definitely angsty and dramatic. Like, he meets Jed and he is immediately like, I will follow you and I will love you until the end of time. You are my master now. <laughs> I think he is very impulsive. I don't think he would work with Ben. They would both just <laughs> get so annoyed with each other. I don't think this would work, but there's a ship you never even thought about. But yeah, I don't know. I don't think that could work in any way, shape or form. So definitely not. And let's just do another one. Are these the last two? Oh my God, this went by quicker than I thought I should do more of them. <laughs> and here we have perfect. This is perfect because I hate both of them and I will ship it just because of that. We have Ven from Mistborn and I threw her in. I didn't even finish the book, but I threw her in. And we have Cal from obviously Red Queen. I hate them both. It fits, actually it fits. Why not? I'm not gonna talk about their characters because I mean Cal I hate and I don't think he has a character which is why I kind of hate him but and Vin I didn't even finish the book and she was so they're both so bland actually it works perfect I'm gonna make a lot of people mad with this I do know that and I don't care but bland characters who pretend they're shit but they're not hell yeah let's go hate them both. They deserve each other. They can go and be bland together. Enjoy your lives. Li lives. Lives. My honeys enjoy <laughs> far away from me. So I never ever have to see you again. Which is perfect. Empty. And that, my darlings, concludes this not challenge, but definitely a challenge for me. Tag of putting random characters from different fandoms into ships and I hope you enjoyed 
let me know if I made a mistake on some of them because you're probably gonna argue against me and I don't care because I stand behind everything I said and that is it for this video I hope you enjoyed I will definitely strive to make another one because this is so fun I might just mix it up a little bit like not ships but I don't know another dynamic or something and let me know if you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video